guys, I have fresh babe right here. Look at little Miss Sophia Marie. Welcome to the world, baby girl. Welcome to all of our subscribers and all of our people that have been watching you the whole nine months since you've been in mommy's belly. We appreciate every single one of you guys and we're so glad that you guys are finally gonna be able to meet little Miss Sweets baby girl Sophia. She is 10 days old today and it has been one hell of a ride with my pregnancy and my high risk scares and everything that her doctor said from her being possible IUGR just like Layla was or small for gestational age. Baby girl Sophia made her way to us um, before her scheduled induction. Her scheduled induction, oh, she just sounded like she had a huge bowl. I don't know if you heard that, but she had a scheduled induction for Wednesday, the 15th of May at 9 p.m. She made her way to us Tuesday, May 14th at 12.02 p.m. So instead of our scheduled induction, like all of our other babes, she just came naturally, you guys. And it was something that I was hoping for, but I wasn't at the same time because I still had so much to get ready for. In those two little days from Monday to Wednesday, I had so much more that I wanted to do and accomplish, but I am just so grateful that she came her own way and all of my babies were induced before she came and they are all perfectly fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with being induced, but I am definitely glad that she made her way here before her actual scheduled induction date. So you guys, this is sweet Sophia. She sleeps all day and is awake fussing all night. She was actually like that in my belly also. She was super active at nighttime and super just quiet and calm during the daytime. We're learning our schedules with her slowly but surely. And when she was born, she was born five pounds and 12 ounces, almost 13 ounces. So she is just perfect in our little eyes. She is my tiniest baby. When she had her one week doctor's office checkup with her doctor she had successfully gained a half of a pound so she is officially six pounds and four ounces she's probably if anything a little bit more ounces now because her one week seven day appointment was three days ago since right now she is 10 days old she is absolutely loving her big sisters shukri marie and layla transitioning from the girls from the two of them to now the three of them has been um, completely opposite of what I thought it was gonna be. I thought Shook was gonna have um, like a lot of anxiety from having a new baby in the house and having to split up her time when she's already sharing half of our attention with her and Layla now having to split it up into thirds. I thought she was gonna have a little bit of a meltdown but she has been such a blessing. She just completely like grew up and just transformed she's such a big help that from the time she met her at the hospital she has been such a true blessing she is helping feeding her she's helping putting her pacifiers in her mouth and her binkies she's helping us burp her she is just such an amazing big sister layla you guys on the other hand let me tell you has turned into like half monster half not even half monster, let's just say 99% monster. Layla has just gone into full diva mode. She is super smitten with her sister, but at the same time, she just comes up to her and pokes her and like hysterically laughs. And if we can't say, no, 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 Layla, we have to, you know, look out for her little feelings also. So if we tell her, no, 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 Layla, she's a little baby, don't touch the baby's head or don't touch her eyes, be careful with baby Sophia, Layla, she will like completely fall out and like throw herself all over the floor and legit just fall out and act like we done like whooped her up and it's just Layla is full diva mode. But Layla's so emotional so we're just kind of letting all that slide. Sweet little Layla is having a really hard time transitioning from not being the baby anymore and sharing her time with now two sisters instead of just one sister. Um, it's really actually kind of breaking my heart and frustrating at the same time. She's also getting 
um, her four molars in the back and she's almost hitting terrible twos so it's just a huge combination of the three she's just having a really hard time we are just simply learning her she's learning us she knows her big sister's voices she knows my voice she knows daddy's voice she's just such a like just a blessing like we're not even a family of four anymore we're a family of five and three girls under three you guys is completely no joke let me tell you and i'm also at the end of this video going to show you guys a postpartum belly shot of my belly and hopefully every week after that i will show you guys belly shots until i am officially at the weight that i want to be at and my tummy is hopefully nice and flat <laughs> let's see sophia with her swaddle off and you guys can see her cute little body Oh, Isn't this the prettiest swaddle? I love it. I got this on Amazon also. And she's wearing the cutest little onesie we got for her baby shower. It says brand sparkling new on it. If you can see, I think it is so cute. Aww. Oh, you okay? Oh, come here. So, look at these little legs and her little feet. This is her little body, you guys. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> she was born with a head full of hair. Um, her breastfeeding is going really well. I have huge nipples and her mouth is so small. Her being only five pounds, her mouth is tiny. And then a breastfeeding consultant came in. She pretty much told me, duh, your nipples are big, but you can pump and still give her breast milk with a syringe or you can pump it into a bottle and give it to her instead of um, supplementing with formula, which formula is absolutely no problem to give your baby. But my personal preference, I want to breastfeed. I breastfed Shook until she was 15 months. My goal with Layla was 15 months plus one day, but we went with her until 17 months. And my goal with Sophia is going to be 17 months in one day. Sometimes I kind of just feel like I'm just like ugh, over breastfeeding, but it, I know it's just like amazing bonding time for me and her and I just don't want to miss that for the world. So yeah, 17 months and one day is going to be our goal with little Miss Sophia. Super excited for that and that breastfeeding journey. Her belly button fell off at five days old. I was kind of surprised because I thought that was kind of early. I might be mistaken, but for me and my babies, that's just kind of early. But yeah, five days old. She has had two baths where she has been fully submerged in her um, bath water. And she really likes the bath. It's really soothing to her. Yeah, she's hungry and she wants some boob. Oh, so back to her breastfeeding. She has been the past few days able to latch on to my nipples and she's feeding fine. I am also still pumping um, just to have some backups in the middle of the night and when we go to the store. I am planning on pumping um, for a freezer stash so we can have if we ever want to go on a date which is like super rare because I never leave them but or if um, we're going to the store and I don't want to just whip out my boob at the store and all that stuff. Another thing about my boobs, if you can see, they are just like large and in charge. They are fully engorged with milk. They are ready to go. I'm such an excellent breastfeeder. I look like I have just a great boob job. Look at that. So as soon as I'm done breastfeeding though, they just completely deflate. I wanted you guys to meet sweet baby Sophia. We are so glad she's finally here and healthy. And thank you everyone for watching. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing for all things mommy, DIY, organizing, cooking and cleaning, beauty, all sorts of fun things coming up. And if you are a returning subscriber, you already know I got you and I always appreciate you. Please, you guys, give me a big, huge thumbs up. It has been a little bit more of a smoother ride than I thought the past 10 days, but babe is also about ready to go back to work. So I'm going to be all by myself taking care of the three girls under three years old. Wish me luck. Pray for me. Sprinkle some hope on my future, you guys. 
she is just pooping up a storm so again you guys thank you so much for watching thank you for coming along for this whole nine months with sweet baby sophia inside of my belly i always appreciate you guys and i will see you guys next time bye <laughs> hi say hi youtube oh you guys want to see a belly shot okay i'm back all right who's ready for belly shot just last time you guys saw me rubbing my belly i was rubbing a big old basketball remember okay so here is my 10 day postpartum belly you guys can see i want to show you guys my postpartum belly until it gets nice and flat and i'm not sucking at it or anything this is like all of the jiggly jiggly and looseness as real as it comes got these big old love handles back here but if i stick to a strict diet i will be able to lose all of this pretty quick like i have with my other pregnancies okay you guys there you have it my 10 day old postpartum belly shot and meeting sweet baby sophia bye guys see you next time